and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to set up a VPN on Windows 10 and really on any computer that you have. This is going to be a step-by-step -step guide. I'm going to go over every step of the process and it really is as simple as downloading something. We're going to be setting up our VPN today through private internet access. Now I would recommend that you use a company like private internet access to get a VPN because you know it's going to be safe, you know it's going to be secure, you know it's professionally managed. They make sure everything is secure, private, and safe for you. They don't keep any logs or anything and that's what you need to look for in a VPN. You can find a link to private internet access in the description down below. It's the first link down below actually and if you go and purchase through that link the breakdown.xyz slash PIA we do get a little bitty cut at no additional cost to you. So thank you very very much for doing that in advance. Nevertheless let's go ahead and get our VPN set up with private internet access. I'm going to be going through the entire process here so this is the page you will land on when you click on the link in the description down below. Now you've got a few purchase options here. Obviously, two years for $69.95 is not bad at all, if you ask me. You've also got the $39.95 per year plan, so you can do yearly for $39.95 every two years for $69.95, or you could just pay monthly, which is what I'm going to do here because I've already got private internet access, but I'm going to do a separate account for this tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and sign up now. You then want to select your payment method. You've got plenty of options here. I'm going to be using a Visa MasterCard. And then you want to enter your information here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to enter my information here on video because I don't want you guys to have all of this information. So let's go ahead and uh, enter it, and then I'll see you once we're done. So after your payment is processed, it will land you on this page. Thank you for choosing private internet access. Now, to install private internet access on Windows 10, it's as easy easy as going to your email and getting the email that they've sent you here and then coming down here to where it says download private internet access for Windows. It's for Windows 7 or newer and if you're not on Windows you want to set it up on Mac OS you just click stable right there and install it like any other program. Same goes for all these. You can even get a browser extension as your VPN but I would recommend just running your whole computer through it with this download right here. So we're just going to click on download stable right there. It is then going to take us off to here where it will download in the bottom left. See that? And it actually walks us through how to install this here but you don't really even need that because I'm going to be showing you in this video. Once this is down Loaded, I will see you to get it installed. And once private internet access is downloaded down here, we can go ahead and you can just click on it from your browser, most likely, and it will open. If you can't click on it from your browser and get it to open, like see there, mine opened. If yours doesn't work like that, you can minimize your browser and it'll be here on your desktop. And if it's not on your desktop, it's in your downloads folder, which you can find by clicking on the Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen. It'll open up this where you just want to type in downloads and then right here is your downloads folder. Private internet access will be here in this downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. We're going to delete this download later anyway. But once you've double clicked on this icon, it will go ahead and open up this where we want to select our language. I'm going to be going with English. Click OK. And we want to create a desktop shortcut. That's just going to make ease of use for later. Go ahead and click Next there and then click Install. It's that simple. It's going to go through, get everything installed that you need to set up your VPN. In the meantime, we can go check our email. So I'm going to do that really quick. So in your email, you'll have two emails like this, private internet access account activated and private internet access installer links. So installer links is just what we were on before. It's where you can download it for Windows or Mac OS and all that stuff. What we want to look at here is the private internet access account activated email. And here we can have our username and password. Make note of these, put them in your password password manager, whatever you want to do with them. On my screen, half of it's blurred out for you because, well, I don't want you having my username and password for private internet access, but nevertheless, that is where you can find it, and once you've found it, click on up here at the top. You should have the private internet access set up. We can then go ahead and click on finish, and it will launch private internet access. Now, if we go ahead and wait a second, private internet access will open up, and we'll be able to log in, and our VPN will be set up. So we have a change log here, which is basically going through everything that's new with PIA. We can go ahead and click on the uh, big red X there. And here is what, where we can enter the username and password that we found back here. So uh, just for ease of use here, I'm going to go ahead and copy these over. Username copied over and password copied over. And now we can go through a few more options. Do we want to start the application at login? Meaning your VPN is always connected when you're you know, logged in to private internet access. And yes, we do want to do this. Do we want to auto connect on launch? So basically, whenever you have private internet access open, as soon as you open it, do you want your VPN to work and, and be connected? I do. So I'm going to leave that on. Do you want to show desktop notifications? I would recommend 
turning that on as well, just so you know when your VPN's turned on and off. And then you can connect by either region or connect by country. So region's going to give you, well, all of these different regions. And then country is just going to give you the different countries they have hosts in. I would recommend doing region because that's going to get it a bit more specific if you want to change that. Now you can add favorite regions by clicking manage favorites there. And then there are advanced settings, but you really don't need to worry about any of those. Just keep it on the normal default settings and it'll work fine. For region here, I'm gonna go ahead and select something that's close to me because I don't really care about anything other than just putting one small layer of protection. If you wanna do some really crazy stuff and let's say you live somewhere else and wanna access content, like say you're in China, you wanna access content that's only in the US, you'd wanna come in here and uh, select any of these US VPNs. Let's say you're in somewhere like the US, you wanted to access content that's only available in Austria. Right there it is, content that's only available in Australia. There we go, we can connect to a VPN in Sydney and that'll allow us to access that content. That'll also add a bit of a different layer of protection because it'll think we're in another country every website we go with. And as a matter of fact, this is kind of cool. So let me go ahead here and select the UK. We'll do UK London. And then we'll go ahead and click save. And now we'll log on into our VPN and set everything up and we'll be logged into the UK London. Now, you might think this has went away. Where'd it go? Well, on the top right, you see this little arrow? Click on that, and I have a bunch of file silo tabs closing out, but up here, there will be a private internet access thing. As you can see, right here it is. If you uh, right-click on that, you'll be able to see that you are di you are disconnected, and then you can connect to UK Manchester. So let's go ahead and connect to that, and we'll see connection status, connecting, and then it will go ahead and click over to connected once it has connected. There we go, it has now connected. That took about a second for that jump cut there. And we are now connected. The reason I went ahead with the UK is just to show you that it thinks we're in a different place. Let's just go ahead and open up an incognito tab here. That way it's not gonna be logged into my Google account and just search for something like coffee. If we search for coffee, we can see that it does go to google.co.uk. And as a matter of fact, the coffee shops it's recommending me, well, they're in the UK right here. They're in London. And I'm not in London. I'm in the United States. So that is how cool a VPN works. It's tricked Google to thinking I'm in a completely different location, even though I'm sitting here in the United States. And that is how you can set up a VPN on Windows 10 or really anything. It's just as simple as downloading it and logging into it with private internet access. There are some more convoluted and complicated ways. And as a benefit, by the way, private internet access also works on your smartphone. So Apple, Android, anything that you have, it'll work on it. And uh, it's just as simple as downloading an app, entering that same information, and it'll walk you through the process and get everything set up. If you want a separate video on how to set up a VPN on your iPhone or on your Android device, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and that is how you can set up a VPN. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I am out. Peace.